This is the 2023 Hyundai Sonata. It's the SEL trim level that we're gonna be taking a look at today. I borrowed this model from my friends at Morgan Hyundai in Shreveport, Louisiana. If you want to know more about this model or any other model you can buy from Morgan Hyundai, check out the link in the description of the video. The exterior color on this model is called Curated Silver, and it has a gray on gray interior and a very nice looking interior to say the very least. We're shooting indoors today because it is extremely cold and windy outside, so that's why we're here. So what exactly can you expect if you want to buy one of these Hyundais? I'm gonna tell you what you get for the sticker price of $29,015. A shrewd negotiator can probably take it down to $29,000 even, but that's one thing you do get is a lot of value for the money. You're going to have a lot of standard technology here that's going to come with this model. It has plentiful cargo capacity, storage space in the trunk area, and if you're looking for some performance, the inline will definitely give that to you. And there are some changes for 2023 including the fact that driver assist is only available on the limited and inline trim levels. You will also find the larger touch screen here with navigation built in, as you can see right there. And as we take a look at the tastefully done rear taillights here, LED, just like you're gonna find with all of the front lights as well. Everything looks very nice here. The way it works its way around. And I like the fact that you don't have anything that stops right here and then you just have the lights on the sides like you would on most vehicles. That really gives the rear a very nice look. And overall, the body lines, very racy looking, sporty looking, maybe a little bit better way to put it, but almost looks like a hatchback back here in the rear area because of the way the lines of the vehicle flow. When you come over the top, down here onto the window and even into the trunk area, and it has the little spoiler, kind of a lip more than anything else. I don't know if I'd call that a spoiler so much, but it is part of the trunk that's just gonna be there on any of these models that you buy, but it gives it that nice sporty look. Now, the inline night edition, has been axed from the lineup for 2023. So that is one more change I wanted to report. Overall, the lines on the vehicle, including what we have on the side here, let's see if we can give you a good view of that. As everything is nice and wide, it starts to taper its way down as we get towards the center or the rear of the doors. And when we get to the rear of the rear doors, it widens back up and really just flows into the rear taillights. A very nice look. Very well done by Hyundai. You're gonna have some gloss black on the lower door sills down there and more of those nice body lines here that just, it just gives it a nice look. It's not typical. It's not gonna be like a lot of its competitors and even the sloping lines of the hood here and the way that looks. Now, the thing I like here, you have the chrome surround on the windows. It works all the way around here and flows its way all the way back to the front fender, right here between the fender and the hood right here. And the cool thing is how that literally fades into the daytime running lights. These are LED daytime running lights. A very nice, I'd say, sophisticated look. And then you also have the LED headlights, the daytime running lights running their way all the way right here. You're also gonna have the marker light on the side and quite a bit of gloss black on the front end. If you like gloss black, you've got the grill in gloss black and the front spoiler as well. So a really nice look. And the overall look of the hood, this is really, in my opinion at least, the perfect angle to see what's here. As everything flows its way up off of the side fender onto the hood, there's a little bit of a dip right here. It kind of flattens out. And then you have another rise right here in the center. I just like this right here this area really sets things off. Not too big, not too small. It just seems perfectly proportioned for what it is. And obviously you're going to have the body color side view mirrors with the body color mirror caps, turn signal indicators built in. That answers the question a lot of you have in these videos sometimes. They are power adjustable door mirrors, very nice. You can fold those in if you want to. 
And then there is the remote. Still in its wrapper, so I'm going to leave it like that since that's the way the dealership handed it to me. But you can see what all you have there. Lock, unlock. You have remote start down there. You have your panic button. You can use the button right here to open the trunk if you want to. And something else that I like here that just adds to the value of the vehicle. When you unlock it, you're going to have on at least the front doors, you'll have the light right here that shines. And that should be on the back doors. Not quite sure why it's not there, but that's what the case is. In case you were curious, again, for less than $30,000, I think that's a nice touch. Tire size at all four corners, you're going to have 235 on the width. The sidewall size is going to be 45 wrapped around 18 inch wheels. You will find good gas mileage here, partly due to the fact that it has the active air curtains right here that look nice, but they're also effective, obviously working their way with air going through the fender right there to improve drag, to help with aerodynamics and reduce drag, I should say. And under the hood, which surprisingly for less than $35,000 comes with the hydraulic hood struts to hold the hood up. You don't have to go hunting for a manual prop rod anywhere that helps out. And here under the hood, we reveal the 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. It makes 180 horsepower and 195 pounds feet of torque. It's mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. That's right. Thumbs up for not having a CVT and it is front wheel drive. And I talked a little bit about good MPGs. Well, what exactly are those numbers? Here's the sticker. If you want to take a look at that, might be kind of hard to see here, but I'm going to show you what the MPGs are. 27 city, 37 highway, 31 combined, and using 3.2 gallons of gas per every 100 miles you drive, well, I think that's pretty impressive. And by the way, after I told you how far you can drive or as far as using those 3.2 gallons of gas per every 100 miles you drive, you might wonder what size is the gas tank? 15.9 gallons. And another advantage, I know a lot of you don't like capitalist fuel fill, so guess what? You don't have that here. And just for peace of mind, you notice how I just walked up to the vehicle and opened that gas door. Well, good news. When you lock the vehicle, it also locks the gas door. You can see I can't open that. I will unlock everything again and we can open that again. And then obviously we're going to have, like I said, quite a bit of space back here. I like the fact that this assisted trunk is very easy to open. You just push the button either here on the remote. There's also one in the interior as well. And you have a total of 16 cubic feet. You also have, at least in this case, with the nice carpeted mat back here, the Sonata logo right there, and the hooks right here to hang bags off of, whatever that may be. There's a lot of different things that could hang up there. And then you can pull on each side here to release those rear seats to maximize cargo capacity. According to Hyundai, your maximum car or payload capacity is 1,018 pounds. That might be something you don't normally hear about in these videos, but that's what Hyundai says you should be able to haul in weight as far as maximizing and using the 16 cubic feet of available cargo space. And taking a good look into the interior for the first time, you're going to have the brushed aluminum trim here that works its way onto the handle to open the doors. Soft touch materials right here, comfortable armrest, and it's not very big, but you do have the door bin right here. Could put a decent sized bottle in there, maybe some snacks, something like that. And something I do have to say I like here is the way the latch system is set up. You don't have to move anything out of the way. You just push that open and then parents can latch in the child safety seats and we'll hop inside here. Now, one thing I must say, I was hoping to see here rear air conditioning vents. They're not here, no USB connectivity here in the back seat, but for less than $30,000, I guess that shouldn't be a huge surprise, but it is what it is. Fold down armrest with cup holders built in. Obviously you do have seating for three people back here if you need that much space. Total seizing, seating, obviously for five people. And here on the SEL trim level, you won't find a sunroof, but I think a lot of people are okay with that. Tell me what you think down in the comments section. And taking a look in through the passenger side door into the front seat, if you want the larger door bin, better call shotgun if you're not in the driver, if you're a passenger, there is a much larger door bin right here. 
Again, the soft touch materials. If you push on that, it doesn't seem very soft, but you know what? When you put your arm up there, it doesn't feel hard as a rock, so that's a good thing. Now, the passenger seat here is fully adjustable, although it's manual. Driver's seat is power adjustable. Both are heated. There is the Sonata floor mat right there. Gonna have the Sonata logo on there, and we'll hop inside real quick and just take a quick look around. I like how everything flows together. You have the trim right here, this brushed aluminum that works its way down on the door handle and then up and across the dashboard. A very nice look, wrapping its way around the infotainment screen. And then obviously we're gonna have the gloveless glove box. I rarely find gloves in these glove boxes, maybe every once in a while, but you can see that there's a good bit of space in there. And then obviously we're gonna have some connectivity up here in the front. That's a good thing. We'll turn everything on here and make it a little bit easier to see. How about that? That way you can see, yes, you actually do have the USB connectivity right there. And there is a 12 volt power outlet over here, although it's not lit up. So I apologize, it's a little bit dark, but it is what it is. Like I said, heated seats. So there you go. One thing I noticed about these heated seats was that when you turn them on, when you turn the ignition off, the heated seats turn off as well, so you'll have to turn those back on. Not necessarily a big deal, but in case you were curious about that, well, that's how that works. The push button shifter right here, tell me what you think about that. It seems like a lot of people are not fans of these push button shifters, and in this particular case, it's not as much an advantage of not blocking the shifter, not blocking the drink holders right here because of their location. But I know some people do like that, some people don't. And we'll take a look at our driving modes right here. Here's your drive mode selector, auto hold, and your power parking brake, obviously here with the vehicle. And then here is the armrest and lid for the console, a multitasker for sure. We'll take a quick look down inside and let you see what is there. And then let's do the test here with the visor, your sun visor right here to show what's there. Obviously you can hide away the vanity mirrors if so desired and let's see what happens. Will this extend? Yes, it does. And it seems to be far enough back so that if anybody is sitting pretty far back in their seat, it just about blocks out the entirety of the window right there. So if the sun is an issue, that will be taken care of. If the guys from the straight pipes are watching, well, they should give a thumbs up to that. And we'll switch sides and take a look in through the driver's side door here. Really not much of a difference besides just a few more controls. You can control those power side view mirrors, control all four windows, hit the lock button, all that good stuff. It's all here. I do like the design here of the seats. It does have a nice sporty look to it, I would say. Kind of a combination of sport and a bit of, well, maybe an elegant look. And I'll let you listen to what happens when you hop inside. Kind of the greeting music from Hyundai. And we'll go ahead and hit the push button start right there. Let everything get going here. Let me turn the steering wheel around where I can show you the instrument cluster. You're gonna have everything you would expect to see there. Obviously, you can go through different features and functionality with the vehicle as far as what you can see on the dashboard. We'll run through that real quick here just to show you what is there. I'm not gonna go through everything in great detail, but obviously, Pretty easy to figure out, pretty easy to use. Has a nice modern look to it. Your steering wheel mounted controls are here. Everything you would expect to see likely. You do have your voice commands right there. And speaking of mode, we saw the word mode right there. So I thought of driving modes. Let's look through what the driving modes are. You have multiple driving modes as you can see on the screen right there. Don't really get any major graphics or anything like that, but you can at least see what mode you're going through and what you're driving in. Obviously, a very well-lit cabin. Let me turn these lights off for just a second to show you what everything looks like. Kind of the advantage of being indoors as we are. We can show you everything that's here with the dual zone climate control, with the shifter, some of that that you saw earlier, obviously, in the video. But I do want to focus in here on the infotainment screen and something that I thought was interesting. Obviously, you have the built-in navigation. To get to that, you push map right there. As you can see, depending on whether it's day or night or dark outside or light, well, it's gonna determine what you see right there. 
But here's the interesting thing. You see map and nav. You'd think navigation. Well, actually what that means is you can navigate your way through the different apps that are available and different features for the vehicle that you can use right here as far as the different features for search and different things like that, saved places, traffic. All of that is there. And it's real simple to use, obviously. You can see what you have as far as your features over here go. A very simple infotainment system to use. That's a fact. And then we'll take a look at what else we have here. As far as that goes, you can use phone projection. You can connect your phone, navigation menu. Uh, you can go, obviously, into your maps. There's valet mode. You can see what all is there. I don't have to go through every single little feature. But one thing I do want to do is we'll go into reverse and show you the different camera views. There are a couple of different views here. And then all you do to get to those is do what I did right there. You can see that. And another view right here. So a really nice backup camera. I know it's not the best view here in the shop where we're shooting today, but to keep my hands from shaking and making the, sh the footage real shaky with the camera, well, it's better to shoot inside today. And so the last thing we really have to do here, since we don't have a sunroof, is to mount the camera to the windshield and take a test drive and see what it's like to drive this Hyundai Sonata SEL. And by the way, the same way you're greeted when you get into the Sonata, let's turn everything off and let you see and hear what happens. Now, it's not quite like the Acura models where you see the vehicle actually turning around and driving away from you. But, you know, you do have the music to listen to anyway. All right, as we hop out onto the road for our test drive and wait for this driver in the Escalade to realize that the light is indeed green and hopefully the Cayenne here doesn't do anything stupid, boy, I tell you what, they're out in force today. That's typical Shreveport for you, people who don't use their brains for anything but a hat rack. Oh, sorry, got a little distracted there by bad drivers. But anyway, obviously you've got some really great features here as far as your driving aids for safety go. You've got your blind spot assist, uh, front and rear cross traffic assistant. Uh, with all of that being there, that's good if somebody is uh, maybe one of those drivers back there uh, decides to pull out in front of you or something like that, or maybe they're walking on foot and they decide to walk out in front of your moving vehicle. You know, people who drive like that probably do that kind of stuff too. All of that is here. Uh, you're following distance assistant, all of that. Everything is here. Very nice, very easy to take advantage of. And one thing I do want to say here, well, we didn't spend a lot of time on the infotainment screen here, but it is very simple to use. I know there's still quite a few of you out there who are saying, well, I put it off long enough. I need to buy a new vehicle. Tom, how hard is it to learn to use the infotainment system in the Sonata? It's not. It's very easy. You know, I'll admit that there are some challenging infotainment systems out there to learn to use, but that doesn't mean that all of them are that way. In fact, this one is pretty simple to use. So if you'd like to see a full tutorial on that, tell me down in the comments section. We'll make a video on that. And I apologize for the fact that we do have uh, the rain hitting the windshield here and I'm having to run the windshield wipers, but it is what it is. Now, handling is really good here. It feels, the Sonata feels good and planted to the road. It doesn't feel like it's going to have any problems as far as driving and handling goes. I'm not doing anything crazy today. It's a little wet out here, but I feel pretty sure that if I needed to take a turn at a higher rate of speed and all that kind of stuff, it would hold it within reason, of course, but got a little bit of a couple of cars in front of me here, so I can't do too much. But I really like the handling characteristics. There was a time when you drove front wheel drive vehicles and you could tell you received the feedback through the steering wheel that let you know it was front wheel drive. Now it's not like that. I like the fact that it feels just like it's a rear wheel drive vehicle as far as just the way the, the way it feels through the steering wheel. Maybe that's just a car guy thing or an automotive journalist thing that I noticed those kinds of things, but not bad. Pretty easy to see out of, but since you have that blind spot assistant there, it, it really doesn't matter in that respect. So you're really in pretty good shape on everything as far as how the vehicle is going to handle and get down the road and all that good stuff. Everything here, easy to use. It's very helpful, very useful. The ride quality is good. Well, I'm glad I was not uh, on the pedal real hard. Thank you. Okay, as if they could hear me say that, but I guess that van was either not paying attention or who knows. 
you know, that's one of the joyous things about Shreveport driving is you can make sarcastic remarks about bad drivers. But anyway, hopefully I don't catch any of my bad driving on video because that happens sometimes too. So don't worry before anybody says anything. Yes, I make mistakes occasionally as well. But handling, ride quality is good. I have to say, I mean, it's not Cadillac smooth, but at the same time, it's not going to beat you to death if you take a long road trip. And that is what you get for a sticker price of $29,015 on the 2023 Hyundai Sonata SEL. Tell me what you think about that. Do you think it's reasonably priced? Tell me what your answer is and tell me why you answered the way that you did. Got to say a special thanks to my friends at Morgan Hyundai here in Shreveport, Louisiana for loaning me this Sonata for the day. And a special thanks to all of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn about other vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now and I'll see you there.